So, you want to make a map for Counter-Strike 2. Firstly, make sure you have the tools installed and enabled. Simply right-click Counter-Strike 2, go to Properties, then DLC, then check you have the Workshop tools enabled. You'll be greeted with the Asset Browser. Simply go up to the Tools menu in the top right and select the Hammer Editor. This is what you'll use to make maps. Select the Geometry tool on the left and drag out on this grid. The Geometry tool can be used to make all kinds of shapes, but we'll just use it to make a simple room. Currently, it is just a big cube. With the cube selected, hit F. This will invert all the faces, making it into a room. To help with scale, place a CT spawn point to get an idea of how big characters are. Don't make the mistake I've made where I build the entire level, only to find out it is really tiny or incredibly huge. With the transform tool and face mode enabled, you can move individual faces. Holding shift while moving a wall will extrude it. This allows you to make branching corridors from your initial room. Oh no, these two walls aren't connected. You can connect them by selecting both faces, right clicking and clicking bridge faces. This will bridge the gap between the two faces, allowing players to pass through. The walls currently look really bland. At the bottom of the screen is the Asset Browser. You can go into the Material tab and select any material. Select a face, or multiple faces, and press Shift and T to place the selected texture onto the face. Selecting a face and pressing Delete on your keyboard will delete the face. Now, I want a bit of sunlight to come through this roof, so let's start off by placing a skybox, then placing a directional light. I go into more depth on directional lights in this video, so check it out after this one. Currently, you can see the lighting looks really funny, and that's because you need to place a combined cube map and light probe object into your level. Expand the bounds of it to fit the room or corridor. Do not use a single probe covering the entire map, however. Make sure you use as many as you can. This will improve the quality of the reflections and lighting. You can preview baked lighting by going to Preview Baked Lighting and Baking or Lighting. This won't affect your compile times, meaning it does not go quicker, and it also doesn't apply in game. You will still have to do a full compile if you want to see lighting changes. The lighting may also not represent what it looks like in the game, with these light leaks coming through the walls. So you've created your amazing map, and now you want to play it. Click File, Build, and then click one of these three options. Fast Compile will only compile map geometry and not lighting. Full Compile will compile the lighting, and Final Compile will do a high quality bake of everything. I'd stick to Full Compile for visual changes. Once you build lighting once, unless your map changes significantly, it shouldn't take as long the second time. Well done, you've learned the basics. Fuck me. All right, I'm done with the uh, the, the stupid voice. Um, it's my uh, it's my tutorial voice, but yeah, I've got a whole playlist of videos that you can go watch and kind of just level up your hammer skills. And uh, just a, a warning, I'm not a pro, I'm just teaching it in an easy way to understand.